This video was sponsored by TV Time. What is up guys, welcome to some incredible Android launches, and today we're kicking off the episode with Mini Desktop. Now this is an application which has a lot of decent features that you would expect to see on a launcher, but one real ace of its sleeve. The whole launcher in its entirety takes up no more than 250 kilobytes. But considering that, there are a fair few features here. The home screen itself consists of an app drawer taking up about 80% of the display, a search bar on top, and then a dock on the bottom, which you can pin certain applications to. Your apps can be sorted by a number of different methods, and also you can use that search bar to simply start typing in the words of an app you want, and it'll start suggesting results. Alright, now we're talking about Total Launcher. And the key is almost in the name, because this app gives you total control over what you see. Once you download and experiment with the app, you will realize that you've never seen this much customization in an Android launcher. In fact, for a good majority of you guys, there are almost too many options. But for those people who find they just can't quite get it right with a standard launcher, they will probably be able to get the look they want with Total. And whilst it's not necessarily the most user-friendly experience, the app does somewhat help you along. Widgets will automatically line up with one another, applications will automatically snap into place, and so if you are willing to invest a bit of time in learning what's available here, it's a really great launcher. The next one is interesting. You may have heard of Arrow Launcher, that was recently completely overhauled. This is now called Microsoft Launcher, and it came with a whole new series of features. And as this is a launcher made by Microsoft, they have managed to include a lot of features that help your phone communicate with your PC. Anytime you update the calendar here, or you add a new contact, even every time you take a photo, you can get them to automatically sync to your Windows computer. Something I also like is the high performance mode, which is originally intended for low performance devices and it basically turns off all the animations and makes it a super smooth experience. On top of that, it's pretty customizable too. There's lots of options for fiddling and a little button on the home screen which you can just tap to automatically change the wallpaper. Alright, now we've got the fascinating Sword Art Online launcher, completely different to the rest of the items on the list. It's actually inspired by a series of Japanese novels, and it overlays across whatever application you're running. What you do when you install the app is you set up a swipe position. So that little orange dot, wherever you position that, that is where, once you swipe, the launcher will activate. And as you can see, that presents us with a bunch of different options. Right at the top we've got settings, and right at the bottom we've got a complete app drawer. That's every single one of your applications, just in a standard list. It gets better though, because you can also pull up a map showing you the entire area around you, and it has a summary page, which shows you a wheel that you can fill with applications you use more often, and even how much RAM you have available, and how much space on your SD card. Following that, we've got Action Launcher. Similar to Microsoft Launcher, it is one that has been established for a long period of time, but has recently been completely overhauled. It has brought a lot of the Android Oreo features to every single device, such as adaptive icons and Oreo notification dots. And whilst this is a fairly sizable application, it is a fully featured launcher. It's up there with Nova Launcher when it comes to level of customizability, even supporting unread badges on your icons by default. But Action Launcher takes it further. It's actually got one really cool trick up its sleeve, and this is called Shutters. So as well as being able to just tap on icons to open the applications, you can also swipe up. And this will open a fully fledged widget of that application without actually needing to take up space on your home screen. As with a lot of launchers now in the directions they're going in, this one is also taking a lot of inspiration from Google's Pixel Launcher. Not a bad thing. On the subject of Google's Pixel Launcher though, there is another noteworthy application. This is called Lawn Chair Launcher, and I won't spend too much time on it because I have mentioned it in the past, but essentially, this thing brings you all the speed and features of the Google Pixel Launcher, but just way more customization. And if you do spend a bit of time in the settings tweaking it, you can get a very convincing Pixel 2 aesthetic with it. So as I said earlier, this video was sponsored by TV Time. This is an application for Android or iOS that allows you to easily track all of your TV shows and when they're coming back on. And possibly the most interesting part of the app is its social aspect. After you've watched any episode, you unlock access to this giant community. All of these people are fans of the series and have actually posted content about the episode you've just watched. It could be memes of various different scenes, it could be reactions to certain parts of it. This is going to make the TV viewing experience a more complete one. You can create your own profile, try and gain followers, look at your statistics for your different programs you've watched, and even follow your friends. Not only that, but the app also allows you to discover new shows that you'd enjoy, and it provides curated specific content such as articles, quizzes, and podcasts. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Aaron, and I'm signing out.